Hi folks, I'm Dr. Ed Beyer, Clinical Director of Beyer Stem Cell Institute in Tinley Park, Illinois. I want to welcome you today to this video where I'll be discussing a fairly well-known therapy that is used for people with arthritic or degenerative knees and various other arthritic joints of the body known as hyaluronic injections, or acid. If you or a loved one is considering getting gel injections for your arthritic knees or any other arthritic joint, I'm making this video for you. I will cover the 10 things you need to know to avoid the pitfalls that many people make when choosing gel injections. To clear up any confusion, these injections can also go by other names, such as rooster comb, which is the, root, the red thing on top of a rooster, hyaluronin, orthovisc, synvisc, visco supplementation, or simply gel injections. One point I want to emphasize right off the bat is that in our institute, we always include hyaluronic acid with any type of stem cell injection for reasons I'm going to explain later. Now, there's a lot of misunderstanding about hyaluronic acid gel injection therapy, and the goal of today's conversation is to clarify the confusion. Again, in this video, I want to cover the uh, 10 major points when it comes to hyaluronic acid. So if you are considering this therapy or have done it and it didn't work, chances are some of these points were skipped. So I would encourage you to watch this to the end so you can learn the proper way to apply this very potent therapy. The first point that I wanna discuss exactly what is hyaluronic acid? Well, hyaluronic acid is a natural sugar molecule known as a polysaccharide, and it's found in almost all species in various parts of the body. Its highest concentration is found in the synovial fluid of our joints, but it's also found in the skin and eyes. It's important to note that the joint with the highest amount of hyaluronic acid is the knee. The reason for this is that the knee bears more weight than any other joint in the body. Point two is that there are many different reasons why people use hyaluronic acid. So the question that I commonly get is, what exactly is the function of hyaluronic acid in our body? So first of all, in our joint spaces, hyaluronic acid acts as a lubricant and it actually cushions the joint. This is why there is so much more hyaluronic acid in the healthy knee than in any other joint. But what most people don't know is that hyaluronic acid also acts what is known as a scaffold protein. Scaffold proteins allow our own stem cells or injected stem cells to have a structural mesh to cling to. This mesh greatly enhances the efficacy of stem cell therapy, especially in the knees. Many people don't get the results they seek from stem cell therapy because the clinic that they went to doesn't include hyaluronic acid with the stem cell injection. We always include hyaluronic acid with all of our stem cell injections. However, in the world of aesthetics or cosmetics, hyaluronic acid is used for something entirely different, and that is to hydrate the skin, thereby removing wrinkles and smoothing out the skin. If you're looking for this, I would recommend you seek out a qualified esthetician who has been doing this for a while as there is an art to this application. Some dermatologists do do this, but I found that it's mostly estheticians. And lastly, hyaluronic acid is used for certain chronic eye conditions. At Bayer Stem Cell Institute, we strictly use hyaluronic acid for the purposes of helping those with degenerative arthritic pain, especially in the knee joint. The third point that I want to address is what actually happens to our hyaluronic acid as we age. As we age, the amount of hyaluronic acid throughout the body dramatically decreases, which is one reason why as we get older, our joints, our skin, and our eyes degenerate. But we also know that the loss of hyaluronic acid can be greatly accelerated by many other underlying metabolic conditions and poor lifestyle habits. The main ones that I've seen are obesity, smoking, lack of sleep, an inflammatory diet that includes too much sugar, alcohol, caffeine. But many people suffer from undetected food sensitivities that create systemic whole body inflammation and greatly add to the loss of hyaluronic acid and the arthritic process. We can actually test for this for those willing to change their diet and lifestyle. High blood sugar or type 2 diabetes or anything that produces what's known as oxidative stress or free radical production will accelerate the loss of hyaluronic acid and the breakdown of our joints, skin, and eyes. Also, all of these issues can be and should be, in my opinion, investigated. The fourth point that I'd like to address is are what are the different ways to replenish hyaluronic acid in our body? Because there are different ways that hyaluronic acid can be applied, this can cause some confusion to the general public. 
Certain serums and supplements or diets high in hyaluronic acid are typically used for cosmetic purposes. I'm sure that you've heard this. In the field of joint visco supplementation, the method of delivery for hyaluronic acid is always done by injection, and the injection has to contain a highly concentrated form of hyaluronic acid. Many think that taking supplements or eating foods high in hyaluronic acid will help bro uh, broke or broken down joints. This is not true. In order to help an advanced arthritic joint, hyaluronic acid needs to be done by way of injection and the levels of hyaluronic acid have to be in a very concentrated form. The fifth point is one that I want to really make sure that you understand is what is the best source of hyaluronic acid for knee and joint pain? There are basically three different sources of hyaluronic acid and one is far superior to the others in the world of arthritic relief. First of all, as I've already mentioned, hyaluronic acid injections used for arthritic joints are commonly also known as gel injections, synvisc, orthovisc, hyaluronin, or visco supplementation. It is very important to understand that not all hyaluronic acid sources are created equal. The first source of hyaluronic acid comes from a rooster comb. This source is synthetic and has a higher molecular weight and can cause many unwanted immune responses after the injection due to the fact that it contains certain proteins known as avian proteins. This is an older form of hyaluronic acid injections and unfortunately, many clinics are still using this. In my opinion, they are outdated. The second source is the human umbilical cord. There's a large amount of hyaluronic acid in the human umbilical cord in an area known as Wharton's jelly. Wharton's jelly from the human umbilical cord is also the best source of mesenchymal stem cells used for regenerating arthritic joints. This is the source of mesenchymal stem cells that we use at Bayer Stem Cell Institute. The fact that there's hyaluronic acid in Wharton's jelly of human umbilical cord tissue is very convenient because, as I mentioned before, hyaluronic acid works in tandem with mesenchymal stem cells in that it acts as a scaffold protein or a mesh, thus, thus greatly enhancing the regenerative powers of mesenchymal stem cells. Unfortunately, in very degenerative joints, especially the knees, the hyaluronic acid found in human umbilical cord tissue may not be sufficient to assist the regenerative powers of mesenchymal stem cells. Additional injections of hyaluronic acid may be required. This brings us to our third source of hyaluronic acid. The third source of hyaluronic acid is from an extraction and purification from hyaluronic acid of fermentation of bacteria. The extreme benefits is that this form of hyaluronic acid is identical in chemical composition to human hyaluronic acid, so there's no immune reaction. The hyaluronic acid product we use at Bayer Stem Cell Institute comes from this method, and the product we use is called GenVisc850 from a company known as Orthogen RX. Research shows that GenVisc850 is as safe as injecting saline joint into the solution. Point six addresses why we use hyaluronic acid in conjunction with mesenchymal stem cells. And the answer to this is very simple. Hyaluronic acid, folks, by itself is just temporary relief of arthritic joint pain. It does not actually regrow or regenerate new joint tissue. Mesenchymal stem cells, when properly administered, potentially will regenerate joint tissue like cartilage, ligaments, tendons, bone, the synovial tissue of the joint. The two work together synergistically and last much longer than the hyaluronic acid by itself. A study done by the National Institute of Health concluded the following. The efficacy of mesenchymal stem cells combined with hyaluronic acid has been found to be far superior to those of mesenchymal stem cells or hyaluronic acid alone. The analogy that I always use is that uh, hyaluronic acid is like fertilizing a bad lawn and watering it, whereas stem cells are like adding brand new grass seed to the lawn. So let me emphasize one more time. Hyaluronic acid does not regenerate and make new tissue. Stem cells do. This is something I always discuss with patients in my consultations. Okay, point seven addresses the question, why does Bayer Stem Cell Institute use GenVisc 850 as its hyaluronic acid therapy above all other different sources that are out there? Number one, it's a non-synthetic, non-avian source because it comes from the extraction and purification of hyaluronic acid from fermentation of bacteria. And that makes it identical in chemical structure to human hyaluronic acid. For this reason, there are no worries about any type of immune reaction. Reason number two, GenVisc 850 is the most researched hyaluronic product in the world. 
There are over 30 research studies supporting its safety and effectiveness. The third reason is that there have been over 50 million dosages administered worldwide since its approval. The fourth reason is that it's been approved in over 60 countries and has never been withdrawn from any market for safety concerns. For those of you who know me, I was raised by a tough old Marine that fought in the Korean War. He, he was also a blue collar South Side Chicago guy that raised six kids, five boys with the following model. If, you don't, if you're gonna do a job, do it right. And that is certainly true when it comes to choosing what source of hyaluronic acid should be used to help people with degenerative joint disease. GenVisc 850 is simply the best hyaluronic acid source in the world. Point number eight is exactly how is hyaluronic acid administered in arthritic joints? What is the actual treatment protocol? How many injections do you need? And what is the time, uh, amount of time in between injections, right? First of all, as already mentioned, it's always delivered by, by injection. Please don't think that taking hyaluronic acid in the form of a capsule will actually help your joints. They won't. Typically, hyaluronic acid is done in a series of five injections, one week apart. At Bayer Stem Cell Institute, we prefer to do the stem cell injection first, and then a week later, begin the series of five weekly hyaluronic acid injections. Although some experience relief after one injection, it is usually by the third injection that almost all experience relief. However, five weekly injections are strongly recommended. We do recommend avoiding heavy sports activity like jogging, tennis, or heavy lifting for 48 hours after the injection. The other thing I want you to know is that these injections can be done every six months. This is something else we discussed in the consultation. We are not putting anything foreign into the body. We are simply giving you something you already have, but not enough to lubricate, cushion, and support stem cell therapy activity in the joint. Point number nine answers the question, when will I feel relief? And for how long will the relief last from GenVisc 850 hyaluronic injections? I want you to keep in mind that the study I'm about to reference was done without the use of stem cells. And remember, according to the National Institute of Health, hyaluronic acid works far superior and much longer in conjunction with mesenchymal stem cells and vice versa. And a study known as the Amelia Project it showed that although some patients felt relief after one injection, most felt significant relief after three injections. But as I mentioned before, five injections are strongly recommended. That particular study showed that relief can last as long as 30 weeks with five injections. Now, remember, the study was done without stem cell therapy. I can assure you that when GenVisc 850 therapy is done with properly done stem cell therapy along with at home range of motion exercises, the results can last much, much longer. The 10th point that I wanna cover in the last point is, and it's a question that I get all the time, is GenVisc 850 hyaluronic acid therapy FDA approved? And the answer to that is yes, it is for knees only. However, hyaluronic acid injections can be extremely beneficial for other joints and this can be discussed at the consultation. If you enjoyed this information, it was my pleasure. And don't forget to subscribe to receive more video information on regenerative medicine and stem cells. And please, please, and hyaluronic acid. And please, please, if you know someone suffering with this, please like and share with them so that they can have this information too. I'm Dr. Ed Beyer. Enjoy the rest of your day.